Hello guys, um, we have got uh, Molly today. Hello Molly, you okay? Hi. Good. Um, Molly is doing her mock test today. Um, so Molly have done some lessons with me before and uh, we just start doing some um, mock tests so she can start get ready for her practical test. So you know the drill Molly, don't you? So yep. we're going to be using the satellite navigation. So if the TomTom -tom give you no instruction, you always be going straight ahead. Uh, unless the road signs tells you the otherwise as well, okay? So always look out for the signs as well. Uh, we're going to be doing one maneuver and uh, if we get chance, we will going to do uh, emergency braking as well. Okay, so do you have any questions before we start? No. no. So whenever it's safe to do so, your mock test start now, please. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. Go left on the roundabout, first exit.
I would like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you, and then drive off again when it's safe to do so, please. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. Third exit, so you're right. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout, first exit, then take the second right. Turn right.
I would like you to park your car to the left, please. Anyway, safe. Okay, drive off again whenever you're ready, please. At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. I would like you to turn next right, please. We're turning next right. Like you to go straight ahead at the next junction, please. Roundabout, I would like you to turn left, please. First exit. The next roundabout, I would like you to go straight ahead, please. Second exit. And the next roundabout, I would like you to go again straight ahead uh, going to car park place. It will be third exit, but it's straight ahead. So this is your first. Okay, so that's your third. Okay, we 
turning next left please and I would like you to forward right bear parking please anywhere forward right bear parking Thank you. Are you done? Yeah. Good. Okay. So let's complete this maneuver. So I would like you to reverse your car and drive out of the car park on your right side, please. That is your mock test finish here, Molly. So that is the end of your test. A lot better than last one, but what do you think, how you think you did? It's still not the best, but better than last time. Oh, a lot better than last time. Yeah. Any serious or danger fault? I think so. Serious or danger? Um, I would say... I'd say danger. Serious. Okay. I will go through with you. I mean, it was a lot better driving. Um, up until the Ewood roundabout, you did not make any mistake. Okay. So the Ewood roundabout, you were turning right, third exit, going towards the town yeah. centre. You stopped over there, you started looking at the right. There was nobody coming from top to bottom, mm -hmm. but there were some cars on the right side. The way the roads are, we have got two lanes over there. So the right lane is mm -hmm. only for going towards Bolton and Darwin. And the left lane is coming towards us. Now at that time, all the cars was on the far right lane. It means they were all going... Our way. No, not our way. They're going towards the... They're coming towards the Blackburn and Darwin. Going towards Ewood Park basically, yeah? Oh, yeah. But you were hesitating. You were just sitting there looking at those cars. But they're all turning. So all them ones uh, were here. And the ones that are like coming through here, they're all they're going to... Correct, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the other lane was empty, isn't it? Yeah. And nobody was coming towards you, so you were hesitating, you were hesitating, yeah. and then, and then, okay. That's, I will give you minor for that, because you took quite a time. Yeah. Luckily, nobody beep at you. Yeah. Okay, so there will be one minor there. Now, after that, as you were going around, you were the third exit you were taking, isn't it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Number one, you should have after the second exit, you should have checked a center and a left mirror signal to the left. You didn't do that. I didn't signal. You didn't check your mirror either. And the lane discipline. So you, there were so many white broken yeah. chicane lane, you went yeah, over that. Know, what happened to the moon crescent? Yeah, after the second exit, do we keep our car near to the right or do we go near to the left curb? What do we do? Left curb. Yeah. What do you think you were driving? More to the? Right. Okay. I'm giving you minor for the lane discipline as well, okay? And not giving signals. Okay. Now, it's not a minor, but it's just something advice I'm giving to you. Mm -hmm. So you will turn right, so then there's an infirmary coming up at the traffic light. You're going to be turning right, isn't it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You stop the traffic light, which is very good. 
The traffic light goes green. So there is a special box there yeah. for you to drive into. But it took you a while to understand what you need to be doing. So you, you the light yeah. going green and you're thinking, should yeah. I go, should I yeah. not? Don't. Your signal Just, is gone, so you go into the yeah. box. Yeah, so I'm only giving you advice for that. Now then after that, I will ask you to park your car to the left at once and you graze the yes. curb a little bit. It's not going to be minor or anything, but it's advice not to do that. Yeah. Always yeah. give yourself a palm length gap from the curb. So it's only an advice for you, okay? So, so far you have got two minors, right? Mm -hmm. Your first serious fault mm -hmm. is that lorry. Any idea why I'm giving you serious fault there? The, the bin man. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't give them enough rain to... So, them. as you were turning right, even before that, when you were at the T-junction, you were turning right, mm -hmm. you can see there was a lorry there. Mm -hmm. So I thought you're going to go and you're going to stop and just space. before enough space. We just went all the way there and then yeah. I was keeping quiet, keeping quiet. But unfortunately, I have to step in yeah, I because... I myself, should I reverse? Or well, but thing is, in your exam, you can't reverse. The yeah, whole point about forward planning, that if you knew is there, why did you go on so close to the car where you have to reverse? Because, okay, tell me one thing. Luckily at that time, there was nobody behind us. What if the more cars come and behind us and they stop behind us? Then how would you going to reverse? The whole traffic will get jammed. Yeah. Yeah. Should I stop? Yes, you can turn, no doubt about it, but stop, stop. as soon as you turn. Yeah, it will be serious fault, I'm afraid. Yeah. Now, the other problem I have is that 40 miles per hour road, you know that uh, Roman road, that 40 miles you're going up yeah. on the hill and all that. You were not making enough progress there. There were a couple of areas where you need to slow down, where there was a sharp bend. I understand that you drop your speed around 21, 22 on that bend. But after that, you should have been doing around 34, 35, 36 really. Mm -hmm. You were really, really cautious over there. Okay. As a driver who's test coming up soon, if you're safe, you should be making progress because because you're not making progress, you think about other traffic who's piling up behind you mm -hmm. and they might go and overtake you. So at this occasion, I'm giving you minor. Mm -hmm. However, if somebody would have beep at you, somebody would have tried to overtake you. Even if they tried to overtake you, it would have been a serious fault. Okay. okay, so progress is very important, please. Okay, so it will be minor. Now, I have to give you serious fault for this one. I'm debating about myself. Should I give serious or not? I've decided to give you CS4 because I want you to learn from this. Yeah. Uh, this is in Lower Darwin. Do you know where that Oak Grove Road is, where you got to give where triangle sign is? And we spoke about it so many times. We have to stop over there and then look on your left. Remember? No, I can't remember where that is. Let me quickly show you the picture so it will um, you will remember this. Remember this one? Oh, yeah. So it says give away over there. You could give away lines over there. Mm -hmm. But what did we say? Do we treat it as a give away? Do we treat it as a stop? And I mean by full stop. So yeah. I know you slow down, but the thing is, mm -hmm. you stop just for like a millisecond after the white line. No, you need to stop before the give away lines. Yeah. Quick look so examiner can see as well and then go. We treat like a stop junction. So I'm giving you serious fault for this because I know examiner will likely give you serious fault as well. Okay. okay, so you have to trace the stop. So if this is your um, real test, it will be unsuccessful. Yeah. So I can tell you right now, so you have got one, two, you have got three serious fault. One for the lorry, one for that giveaway sign where you have to stop. And one for this, I have to grab my wheel over there. Yeah. And I'm giving you one, two, three, four four minus which is not bad compared to the next one isn't it yeah? yeah any problem any question with this um, no. right, you need to please please work on this really okay so good uh, you happy with this I mean, it's better than last time okay guys uh, that's it from us today and uh, hopefully I will see you guys on the next video up until then see ya